Welcome back folks, this is Keith at Don Redwood Groves and we're uh, on to the next project and today's project is a solar kiln for the sawmill trying to dry uh, lumber and uh, maybe actually some firewood we'll see what we got here um, I'll show you where we're at right now been working on this project for a couple days and uh, I got a fire got it this far and um, I figured I better start videotaping this so you can see what we're at and let's show you what I've done so I uh, took a 12 inch auger and dug six uh, holes put sonic tubes in there filled it all up concrete and then I took uh, six by six if you've watched my videos before these seem to be my go-to six by six uh, post anchors anchored them into the concrete but I didn't use six by six this time posts I made custom beams five and a half inches wide 12 inches tall and uh, they're about 14 inches long is what I cut them the outside dimension of this solar kiln is going to be 14 wide and about seven feet deep um, I'm using design criteria from uh, what is the Virginia Tech solar kiln you can google that they uh, uh, they share where it and their design concept so what I did is I cut 2 by 12s true 2 by 12s I've spaced them 16 inch on center and then even them out and then they're anchored into my five and a half by 12 beams and just to make sure that these don't twist I don't think they would ever but I had some extra cutoff pieces so then I put in supports to tie it so that the uh, floor joists is here if you will don't want to do any twisting from all the weight from the wood there should be quite a bit of weight on here I guess it made 4,000 to 8,000 pounds depending on what species I have in here and uh, how high I stack the board footage up so put that all in here so we got this all set up now today what I'm going to try to do is put the decking on I got some 2x12s here and uh, just a few so I'm going to try with the 2x12s to get the main section where the, the wood is going to sit for drying and then I have some more that I will put on the sawmill and just clean up get them down to fill up this full floor with um, two buys so that's where we're at and uh, stick with me let's see if we can get this thing done alrighty let's catch up where we're at so I've took some uh, the two by twelves I have I'm gonna put that so that they positioned underneath the lumber and then I took some two by tens that I had to space out to fill out the rest of the deck and then I took two these are two by eights that I cut down to uh, seven inch wide to fill off the deck so now what I'm going to do is I'm using uh, what are we using here some 16 D three and a half nails to nail it down for shear and then I'm using these 10 by 3 uh, premium exterior wood screws to tie it all down so we're putting it down and so the nails should help in case when I'm coming in here and I catch some wood try to push it that I don't shear any of the screws off haven't had that happen uh, with these but I have with the two and a half inch screws so I'm hoping um, we don't have that plus I put the nails in there to really help give it the support so let me put the deck down catch you moving on alrighty we're back here I apologize it seems like I lost uh, the video for uh, finishing the decking but we got the decking done starting to frame the walls again this is uh, almost seven foot deep it's 14 foot wide and the back wall is eight foot and the front wall is going to be four foot high and a 30 degree roof because that is the latitude we are here in Georgia so frame the last wall back wall uh, two by fours 24 inch on center got that up I've got the one wall over here framed and uh, let me climb up here again two by fours two on two, two feet on center um, it's a little wider over here I'll figure something out on that if I have to but 
the walls we're not really holding much up here but the floor we're gonna be holding a lot of wood so we're gonna bring this uh, bring this uh, uh, wall up and get it level to that wall and tie these two walls in so this is uh, a little bit stronger so that's the game today and uh, see if we can't get this wall up and then what I'm gonna end doing is um, I'm gonna put uh, two by fours at that four foot high two of them I think to tie the top in and then these are gonna be fold out doors now um, I originally wanted to do one door two doors seven foot seven foot that seems pretty heavy so I may do them two seven foot doors and fold in the middle so that it doesn't put so much weight on this on that that wall and now I'm actually thinking I might actually tough text this front to give it a little extra solar um, I might go tinted but that'll help keep the weight down on these doors so um, stick with me on that and when we get to the end of this video we'll probably figure out which way I went but right now we're gonna try getting these walls in uh, great <laughs> cut so my uh, camera overheated it's a hot September day but we got the uh, walls all up I towed them in and um, going through got both the side walls and the back wall up this is front wall is gonna be all door we talked about that I believe but uh, I'm making design change as we fly here those are always fun um, originally this 2x4 was gonna go in here and I had it in there to tie and the door was gonna go below but um, I wanted to make it taller so that I could get IBCs in here if I decide I want to start to solar kiln um, firewood. So the IBCs are just over 45 inches and this gets it to be 46 and a half inches. So it'll be tight, but it would fit. So what I'll end up doing is I'll cap this. It'll tie the walls in a little better anyways. And then I gotta run a couple of uh, um, cross supports and some beams down here for the tough techs. But that's where we're at today. Progress, uh, getting a little closer. I'm, uh, I'm starting to debate whether how I want to do siding. I was doing originally going to do board and batten, and then I was going to do lap siding. Um, I don't know. I might just do T111, tie this in, get it glued in, so I have less joints. Uh, hate to do it, but it might make sense, and uh, it'd be more efficient than all the leakage of all the lap siding. So we'll see. But here we are, and we'll keep moving forward and give you progress. Well, it's been probably a week since the last video, so it doesn't, you guys aren't going to see that time, but it's been about a week. Uh, anyhow, I'm starting to frame in the fan um, box, if you will, for it. So there'll be a wall coming down here, fans here, I think two or three on this wall, and the air will circulate, come back on through, and exit out through there, uh, and come in through this wall. Um, I've started, I said before, I needed to raise this up for the height uh, to be able to get an IBC in here in case I want to uh, kill dry firewood. So I'm framing this up, putting some more supports for the Tough Tech's top that I'm planning on using um, for this. And uh, i am got that pretty decent. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with where we're at on that. I'm not happy with this. I was concerned about that. I don't know if you can see. Um, it is, oh, swaying back down. I could put a two by four, pull it up and tie it, screw it in. I may do that. I have some um, structural iron. I may try doing that. Uh, I'm gonna see how these do and um, 
for a couple days in the hot sun and see what's going to happen with these. That one's going to be fine because it's going to be tied to that. But these two will be in the air. So again, I can put two by fours, another two by four and tie it in and kind of um, L bracket it, if you will. And that would stiffen this thing up. Or I could put it underneath here and make it a T bracket. I kind of like that. I could do that for this one. I can't do that for that because that'll get it too low and be in the way again for the IBCs. So I'd like to do whatever I do for one for the other. So let's see where we end up on that. But uh, that's pretty much it for today. I've been trying to get the uh, aquaponics greenhouse uh, ready for winter. We've been starting to get some cold mornings or cold nights. So I've been putting a bunch of thermal mass and in there and trying to get all those barrels so that's taken me on this and pulled me away from that but um, you won't notice it let's see what the next one goes to talk to you later all right I wanted to bring you in to where we're at I made some decisions so I'm boxing in the fan box area um, I put some two by fours across and I'm using some one by well they weren't really one by sixes but pretty close to one by sixes uh, in here I had some heck of a time. These had a little twist in them, and I tried using those clamps that are wonderful. Um, these had too much twist in them, so I ended up using one of my big old ratchet straps. Uh, that saved the day. Saved a lot of time. Anyhow, I got those boards in, and now I'm putting in the front. Uh, I'm going to use two buys to go up here. A little bit more meat to hold the fans, and uh, what are we going to be here? We're about... Um, 33 inches opening so I'll put two buys up here close this all off and then I'll just cut the opening for whatever box fans I get I don't know 24 inch 22 whatever I can find on sale right um, but we'll get those in and then um, I am going to go I uh, you know, it's gonna be t111 I'm pretty sure uh, I don't have one buys cut and drying for the sides. I want to get this thing done. Um, I'm afraid all the joints are just going to cause that much more leakage. So I don't want to use that. So I'll spend a little money. I'll buy some T111 plywood and uh, we'll put that in um, and get it. So it's all tied in and uh, then I can start putting some insulation in here and then we can put the roof on and then all I got to do is create the uh, door opening. Uh, this piece is, of course, tied in here, so I don't have to worry about that drooping. I've let this sit out here for a couple days. This one isn't drooping yet. Um, this one still is. So I got to decide. Uh, take it out. Replace it. Stiffen it up. I'm still working on it. Um, I might actually just put a board in here. Once the door goes in, put a board right here to hold it up in place so that I got it when I need it. But we'll see. Let me work on getting this thing done, getting the front fan part of the box done. Alrighty, bring you back in. We got the uh, fan box all covered up. I actually used 2x12s so that if I cut in for the holes for the fans, uh, hopefully I don't have to cut the whole board and that'll give me some um, rigidity. I've got it all capped in. So two by four is tied in. I put a two by six to tie in the corners. Um, I've got the sides squared off and cross tied. Both sides and the back cross tied. I am ready for skinning. I think next we'll be heading for one of those box stores and get some T111. I haven't sure what thickness and that, but we'll uh, work that out and uh, see what we can go. So I guess that's the next step. T111, and then I can insulate, and then uh, tough coat on the top, and front door. Painted black. We're ready to rock. Alrighty, we've got her skinned. So, I ended up going to the big box store, like I said, and I bought, it was called uh, 3 8 series, I'm hoping you can see that, the sun's so bright, uh, panels. So it's almost 3 8 thick, it is already primed. Um, I went with this versus the T111, the T111 looked like terrible. 
the ends were all bashed up and this has about a three quarter inch overlap seam. So I thought that would give us a better chance of keeping this thing more airtight. Um, I simply did four foot sheets and then I left, um, took eight sheets, it was like 300 and, uh, 320 bucks, I think these are like $39 a sheet. And uh, then my daughter's uh, boyfriend was here and he helped me and we quick ripped these babies into three pieces. I'm going to make this panel here an access panel in case I need to get to the back while the wood is there. I want to be able to get into there. So it is all skinned. Now what I need to do is I'm going to caulk uh, the gaps on these boards just to try to minimize again air leakage and then we're going to start putting some insulation in here and uh, I think what I'm going to do is I got some sh um, some of the cutoffs from those three boards I'm going to put them here stack up so that when the wood is coming in I've got something to support it um, I'll probably end up painting those black but what I'm going to use is uh, black um, garden fabric to coat the ends of this and cover up the insulation. Uh, that'll give me a little bit of play if I want to do anything with it. It'll black so it'll help uh, suck in the heat from the, uh, the solar system and uh, I'm going to use that actually for the drapes also down on top of the wood. So um, I think that's the easier way. It's a quicker way. I don't have to paint and it doesn't require me to put another skin on the inside of this. Uh, to keep the insulation, but that's what we're looking at. So I need to go get some uh, silicone and some insulation and get this thing sealed up and start getting some insulation.